Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a donation GUI. Just before the video begins, I'd just like to say 92.2% of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explore and Properties are open. If Explore and Properties are not open, you want to head over to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties. Once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you want to click back on the home area. And now you want to actually go and make your GUI. So for this, you want to go to start a GUI and then we want to insert a screen GUI. You can really adjust this to however you want. For this tool, we will actually leave it at just as screen GUI. Then now you want to insert two frames and one on these frames, you want to call one of the frames main frame because this is going to be the frame that is holding our button. So we want to go and drag this. We're going to drag the one frame, our main frame across here. And we want to set the background transparency to one, basically meaning it is invisible. Now, this is going to be our donation frame, which is going to be at the center of the screen. So we want to go and rename this to donation frame, something like that. Um, I suggest name it donation frame so you don't have to adjust parts of the script. But if you name it something else, then you will have to edit parts of the script. So you want to go and size it up and you can change the background color. You can add curves to it and to add a simple curve. You can just add a UI corner or UI. Uh, yeah, something like that. And you can adjust how many on how on the corner radius and whatnot. Like, let's say you want it to have somewhat a quite curved corner. Obviously, you can adjust it quite a bit. But for this tutorial, I'll just leave it like this. But feel free to go and adjust the frame the donation frame to however you like add some text really whatever you feel like but let's go and leave the donation frame for now so let's just go down here and click uh, a remove like visible over here and then we want to go back to our main frame we now want to add a either a text button or a image button for this tutorial we'll be using a text button this is going to be the button that the player or the yeah the player clicks which opens up our donation frame so you want to rename this to you can actually kind of leave it at text button, but for this tutorial, we'll be changing the text to, let's just say donation, something like that. Scale up the text, change the color, the font, whatever you really want, um, but just go and customize it to however you would like. Also, if you would like to use a image frame or image button, you can now, you can also do that. But here we go, here is our donation button. Now inside this text button, we want to go and insert a local script. Then you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that's in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste it in here. Now, depending on what your donation frame is called, well, whatever we called our donation frame, the frame that is going to be opening up the rest of our developer product buttons, which is going to be our, our donation shop. Whatever you called this, the donation frame in on your game, you want to change it up here on these two locations over here and also over here. So as you guys can see here, I've put a like a kind of like a note line sort of thing. Depending on what your donation frame is called, you would need to change a donation frame, the, these parts here, to whatever your donation frame is called. So once you've finished adjusting everything there, you want to go up here and click on close. So now that we've made this button open this donation frame, we now want to go and edit our donation frame. So we just want to open it up here again. And then we want to maybe insert, you can insert a text label, add some text up there, really whatever you want to do. But for this tutorial, we'll just use a another text button, which will, this will be now our, say, five Robux button here. And obviously you can add as many buttons as you want. You just got to make sure that you make enough developer products. So where is the text thing here? Here we go. So let's go and text scale it up. Let's go change the font. And we'll just do this like a five Robux. We'll change the text to five Robux. OK, something like that. You can also add like a 10 Robux, really, really whatever amount you want. And feel free to add a bit of a title there. So now that you've added the five Robux, you want to go and click on here and you want to click on the local script. So now that you've inserted a local script into our text button, which says five Robux, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the script to, which will probably be named something like donation frame text button local script. You want to copy that part of the code and paste it in here. Now, depending on what your donation or your developer product ID is, you want to. So once you've got your developer product, you want to go back to the script on our donation frame and you want to change out the ID. For this tutorial, I'm just using 
a five Robux donation developer product that I used on my other game. But feel free to use your own because if you do not use your own developer product, the Robux will be sent to me. So you want to make sure that it is your developer product. OK, so once you've inserted your developer product ID, you want to go up here, click on the X, X button. And then you want to go over to the donation frame and set this visible to negative or like false, basically untick it so that you can only these. Are, this is the only thing that you see on the screen. So now that you've done this, go up here and click on play. As you guys can see, we have now loaded into the base play. And if we're going to click on our donation button, we can see it kind of like changes a bit of a color. It does that on default. You can adjust that if you would like, but feel free to again adjust the UI as much as you want. But as you guys can see, if we click on the donation button, so as you guys can see, if we then go and click on this button again, the UI will close. And if we click on it again, the UI will open. And then if we click on this, here's our test purchase. We can buy it and players can buy it as many times as they want because it is a developer product. If you use a Game Pass ID, a Game Pass is only a one time purchase where a developer product is a infinite amount of purchase. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. Super thanks is located just below the video and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily but anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you'd enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.